found some new beers for you guys. And yes, I will be back in the basement in a little bit. Don't worry, these are all pre-recorded. It's just stuff that I have and that you're going to see because they, uh, they, they turned out pretty darn well. So maybe for the next week or so, a little bit different setup, but it's all going to be just fine. Beer, 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 beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, front of the Brewski Brewski Review. And today the beer that I have for you guys is by Brewsters, Brewsters, they're just called Brewsters, Farmer's Tan Belgian White. Boom. Farmer's Tan Belgian White from Brewsters, proudly brewed in Alberta. They are straight out of Calgary, if I'm not mistaken. Does it say? They said proudly brewed in Alberta. They have locations, so looks like they have many locations. We will do a find us in a little bit, but yes, Belgian white farmer's tan, 5% alcohols by volume. No listed IBUs on the very orange can. This is ale with orange peel and coriander. Pretty nice looking stuff. You got a farmer on the front and then big letters for uh, more or less everything else. They are there's nine restaurants um, in Calgary, Edmonton, and Airdrie, Alberta. So pretty cool stuff indeed. Let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. Got some just smaller glassware here, not specifically beer glass, but hey, that's just fine. They're gonna be shorter videos because there's not as much beer, they're only short cans, so not too big of a fan of that, but hey, we'll get by. Looking at the beer itself, nice golden color, slightly hazy, but really not too much, more or less clear. Nice white head on top, just diving on the nose. On the nose, orange peel, coriander for sure. A little bit of like a chlorine sort of aroma on this one, which is weird. I had one earlier, it did not have a chlorine aroma to it. But quite bright, quite resilient, uh, not resilient, but quite bright, quite refreshing, quite fruity of an aroma. Almost a little gassy or diesel-y too, which is weird because the first one that I had did not have those notes. Maybe it's just in the environment that I'm at, I have a window crack, so it could be. Could be skewing some of the results, but I don't think so. As for flavor though, solid Belgian white, uh, Belgian white ale, Belgian wit, right? Belgian wit as well. Yeah, wit beer, Belgian wit, good stuff. <clears throat> good stuff all around. Beautiful orange and coriander flavors. Absolutely crisp, beautifully clean. Good stuff all around. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, orange peel, coriander. Nothing crazy with it. A little bit of a weird mouthfeel to it. A little bit drier and somewhat gritty compared to other uh, wit beers or, or like wheat beers or Belgian Belgian wit beers I've come across. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that. I don't know what that would what what would cause that sort of grittiness um, of the beer because there's nothing floating in it. Excuse me, it's a pretty clear beer. So I'm just a little confused on why that is. But hey, that happens. Looking on the can, Brewster's Farmer's Tan Belgian White, proudly brewed in Alberta, 5% ABV. Uh, how many IBUs? 18 IBUs according to the website. Description we have. Our authentic Belgian style white ale is made with flaked wheat, a Belgian yeast strain, fresh coriander and orange peel. Uh, it's an easy drinking white ale with a great citrus kick and that it does have locally brewed since 89 over 30 years we've been refining the art of beer in Western Canada we believe that every beer should share a story and that every story should share a beer we don't need to t uh, we don't need to tell you that our beer is crafted with only the finest ingredients because once you drink it you'll know Brewsters, love our delicious beer. You love our restaurant, locations, menus, and all the rest at brewsters.ca. 
on the top we have in beer we trust and that we do on the side here brewster's brewing company calgary alberta canada uh, return for refund unpasteurized keep refrigerated on the bottom we do have a canned on date september 30th 2020 so a few months old but not too bad time of canning was 8 49 and we also have a batch number which i don't usually see batch number 3017 so they have a lot of traceability there I really appreciate that and it's a solid brew The nose might throw you off just a little bit, but other than that, it's all Belgian wheat beer. Over on the website, brewsters.ca, you go to the beer section and go to the lineup, and you do find Farmer's Tan. It has the exact same description as on the can, but showing color, which is unfiltered straw with orange hues. hues sorry. I would say it's more of a gold. I don't think there are any much sediment, not much sediment, but much haziness. I will pour the rest and just double check it though. Body, we have medium, ABV of 5, and IBU of 18. Um, that's pretty much it for the website. Looks great, really colorful, good uh, good use of, you know, uh, you know uh, what you call it, fonts, stuff. I think it's not super basic. It does have some character to it. Do like that, but no food pairings, nothing like that. Food pairings, I think, would be reasonable since they are a restaurant as well. Would make sense, but I guess they missed that. Over on Untapped, Farmer's Tan Belgian White Ale has been given a 3.38 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of just over 1,700 ratings. Finally, for price, I'm not too sure. Got this in a 12-pack, uh, and I don't remember how much that 12-pack cost, but that's one thing I've noticed, um, is that in different areas, um, you know, some, some places have mixed packs of their beers and you don't usually find that uh in 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 the lcbo's kind of thing which is kind of neat so i don't have any pricing information for you sorry to say but hey still got a solid beer mm -hmm. it's a good belgian wheat i've had many other belgian wheats that are definitely better than this but overall it does the job it shows you the orange peel the coriander Everything uh, beautiful about a Belgian white or a Belgian wheat ale, you are good to go. So with that said, cheers on final sip. Let's get right to and we'll wrap this thing up. Overall, like I said, solid, solid contender. No real problems with it. The, the, just, just maybe the aroma has a little bit of a gasoline-y, uh, not gasoline-y, diesel -y or um chlorine sort of just wisp to it a flavor on point the mouthfeel though just a little a little gritty on the tongue which I, I i don't know what would attribute it attribute grittiness to a uh to a beer it's not slick but it's gritty sort of like a uh like a guava it can have a little bit of grittiness very similar to that sort of aspect overall farmer's tan gets a solid it's a solid 7.4 out of 10 for me Ashen presentation, beautiful can design, little, uh, little big font like that, Not nothing too, too crazy, but it does look pretty damn clean. Good description of the beer, the brewery itself, ABVs listed, no IBUs, not a big deal, no ingredients either, but they do have a can on date with time and batch number. So that I can really appreciate. As for the website, looks great, good information, throwing in the, uh, the IBUs, a little bit of color to it. But the one thing that doesn't make sense is since they're a restaurant, wouldn't they have food pairings? Even if it was just pairing that beer with the food they offer. So a little bummed out about that, but not too, too big of a deal. Overall presentation gets a solid, gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to view in the future, you can leave all of that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, we greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Now let's see if we got some haze to the beer. I don't think so, but maybe there is. Maybe there is a little bit of haze. Ooh, ooh, a bit bigger of a head there. Let's see. Just a slight little bit of extra haze. Cleans the nose up just a little bit. 
and does clear up that graininess just a touch as well having that haze in there maybe it does add some a little bit of extra aspects what i give it give it a seven four i'm gonna bump it up to a seven seven six a lot better cheers